When Crystal came in this morning, I was really inspired by her hairstyle. I loved the undercut. So I decided to create a makeup look using that as a kind of inspiration. I went for a black, very kind of graphic and almost bug-like in there, those beautiful kind of liney shapes, and then finished it with a little bit of lip black on the lips just to make them look nice and glossy and bring the whole thing together. So the first thing you're gonna do is to lay the brows flat and sculpt them using brow lac. And I'm just gonna brush it through Crystal's eyebrows and immediately they lay really nice and flat. You can then work with the brush to make shapes in the brow. Start brushing them up like that. And you can kind of just do some quite cool lines with them. Then with my finger, I'm just gonna flatten it like that. So now I'm gonna exaggerate those little flicks using the black color from the industrial palette. And I'm just gonna take a very, very skinny black brush in all of the areas that need a little bit more help where the hair's a bit more sparse. So next I'm gonna take this copper color and I'm gonna use another really quite fine brush. And I'm gonna to begin to build out the eye shape with this copper color. And then I'm gonna begin working underneath the eye and lining the under part of the eye with that color. And I'm actually gonna go up into the waterline with it. And then when you've got about halfway across the eye, you're gonna switch back to the black to finish off that shape. So I'm just gonna go around that red line a little bit, really softly, just to give it a little bit more definition, like that. So now I'm gonna take the Rubber Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna apply it on the outer corners of Crystal's eyelashes. But I'm just gonna build up some volume and definition just on the outside and try and keep the inner corner quite minimal. And now I'm just gonna stick a few of these quite heavy single lashes on the outer corner as well, just to give it some nice extra dimension. And these are Tatty Lashes. And then lastly, I'm gonna apply this ultraviolet, very kind of pale, iridescent color onto the lid and just blend that into the copper tone. Just so there's a nice little reflex going on, a little bit of shape shifting in the color. So for Crystal's lips, I'm gonna add a little bit of that ultraviolet light color just to her Cupid's bow like this, just to tie it all together. And we're gonna put a tiny little bit just down her nose as well. And I'm gonna use this as the kind of the highlighter. So a little bit in the cheekbone as well, it'll just catch the light. And that just gives her skin a really kind of cool, cold highlight, which picks up really nicely. And you can put it quite sort of precisely and quite sharply on the cheekbones as well. Then I'm going to take lip lac and I'm going to just coat her lips, just avoiding the cupid's bow so that you keep that cold colour just in the centre. And this makeup looks all about the eyes, so I'm not going to go too heavy on the lip. Keep it quite light and glossy. And there you have it. Um. 